Welcome to the Perm Show. I am here at Nadine's in downtown Perm, and my guests today are Sophie Zvonner and Denise Shornack, and we're talking about the annual Fall Style Show from the Court of St. Rita's Catholic Daughters. Welcome, ladies. Thanks Thank for you. being with us. Now, Sophie, this is an annual, the biggest fundraiser. Is it the only fundraiser? It's not the only one, but it's the biggest one, and it's the one we have the most fun with. Well, I have been there, and it is absolutely wonderful. So listen up, pay attention. Give us the particulars, will you? Okay, it's at Mulligan's on uh, Saturday, October uh, 31st, which is Halloween, and it starts at 930 and the brunch starts at, and we'll have a, a quiche brunch with uh, homemade quick breads, fruit, coffee, and juice. And then there's a lot of door prizes and silent auction that uh, we will be doing during the style show. And then we'll have uh, local merchants here from Perm doing... Uh, having their models and a model of the latest fashions and everything. And the tickets are $15 this year. Okay, very good. And uh, now I have, like I say, I have attended this. And it is amazing, the food. And I brought my mom, and, and it was wonderful. We bid on, on things at the silent auction, and she still has a lovely shawl that we were fortunate enough to have the high bid on. And such a good cause that this is. Now, what are some of the, uh, what are some of the things that you will do with the money? Well, some of the charities that we uh, use are the funds for is um, Meals on Wheels and the Red Cross Blood Drive and Perm Area Food Shelf and we do also donate to Habitat for Humanity and then we also have the Valentine's Day party for the residents at the Perm Memorial Home too. This is one of the few different uh, places uh, things that we do with our uh, funds for the year. Very good. Well, I know that women come from all over and if you want to be treated well, this is just such an elegant gathering. Such a you. How how many years have you been doing this? I would say be cl uh, close to thirty overall. Yeah. Well, you are absolutely experts at that. I'm going to talk with Denise about some of the uh, people who are going to be there with uh, fashion. Yes, Fatty, we're excited. It's one of our favorite things to do at Nadine's is the, is the Catholic Daughter Style Show. So, of course, Nadine's will be there doing some of the new fall fashions for ladies and children. And Richter's menswear and perm will be modeling for men. We have Elegance uh, Bridal Shop here in Perm uh, doing some modeling. The back porch will have some sportswear, and Ma's Little Red Barn will also have some clothing in the style show. Well, one of the one of the neat things uh, at this particular event is that there are on every single table. It's such it's so beautifully decorated, but on every single table there are uh, little gifts for the people at the table. And I know that uh, that I raced down here last year because I there was a coupon for for um, a discount that I could get by, you know, coming down to Nadine's and seeing some of the fashions that I had seen on your models. Yes, yes, we'll have uh, discount coupons handed out. We're also going to have some fun skits that day at the Style Show. It's just going to be a wonderful time. So gather up some friends and neighbors and come on out to Mulligan's at the golf course here in Perm, Minnesota at 9.30 on October 31st and come and, and see the styles and just have a fun day. It's such a great time. And they have round tables, so it's, it's wonderful for just having great conversations with people. And it's just... It's a great morning. It really is, and it's a great time, like you say, to bring friends and, and get together with guests. Um, Sophie, just before we're going to run out of time, I'm sure we always do, but just before we uh, be, we end our segment here, can you tell me about a phone number that people could call for more information or even perhaps um, if you'd like to know how many people plan to come? They can get, uh, call me at 218-346-6119, uh, and also Nadine's has the tickets here that they can pick it up. But, but if they want to just reserve some tickets, they just uh, call my, uh, my phone number, 346-6119. And then one last thing, I really would like to thank all the merchants and, and even the members have donated wonderful prizes because we don't buy these prizes. They're all donated. And the local merchants and the merchants through this whole area have done a tremendous help for us for all these prizes and everything. Well, thank you. A big thank you to them. And it sounds like it is a an effort from many, many people and, and businesses. So th um, on Halloween, go, make sure that you check out that uh, that fall style show. It's a wonderful, wonderful gathering. Welcome back to the Perm Show. We are here with Bob Beesman, and he is on the Together for Kids committee. We're at Prairie Wood Middle School, and we are going to talk about the 
levy referendum. Welcome, Bob. Thanks, oh, thank you. Thanks yeah. for being with us on the Perm Show. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Well, um, I know that you are passionate about about the schools, about education in the Perm area. Your kids attend here. Mm -hmm. um, can you give give me a sense of, of why it is that you've gotten involved with this committee? Well, there's there's a lot of reasons, but it, it all comes down really, you know, mostly to the kids. Okay. Uh, but even on a personal level, I, I think that this levy is important for us and for our community and for, and for our continued success as a community. Uh, there's a lot of reasons to do this, and everyone has their, their own niche, their own little area that they're passionate about. Uh, and for me personally, what it comes down to is, is the value of the education we deliver to our kids today and how it compares to you know, what I had you know, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. okay? now, our kids cannot compete in the world today the same way that we were able to compete 30 years ago. We cannot be the same institution organization today that we were 30 years ago. I mean, if we, I mean, if that were the case, then our engineers would be using an abacus or a slide rule. Yeah. And, and, you know, it just doesn't work. Right. Okay. Well, we uh, talked a little bit earlier too about the competition, um, uh, not just but but for the schools itself. So the mm -hmm. schools are in competition. Well, yeah, we compete because. Minnesota is now an open enrollment state. Again, this is different from when I was a kid. I remember when I was a kid, I actually got bused past a school to a different school because they had to equalize the number of kids in each school. So I actually had to take a bus past another school. I could have walked to the school that they were driving me past, but you know that's because it was not open enrollment. Now Minnesota is an open enrollment. So this school district competes with every single school district around it. Any kid can enroll at any school district. So if a kid doesn't like the offerings that a school has, or if it doesn't have the offerings that they need, that they're mm -hmm. going to be pursuing in their life, they can go down the road 10 miles and get those offerings somewhere else. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's, you know. And well, that affects the bottom line. Yeah. You know, and yeah. so when the bottom line is affected, then you start facing those cuts. And, oh, yeah. And I know that you don't like that. Well, I mean, you know, basically it's $5,000 a head. You know, for every head we have in this building, we get the, from the state about $5,000. Okay. Uh, you get a little less for elementary, you get a little bit more for high school, but we're in the Prairie One Middle School, and so we get base rate really for the Prairie One Middle School. Is that's that for 5, a whole 000. year? Uh, that's for the year, 5000 bucks a kid. Okay. Wow. So if we have, now we've got about 1,000 kids who are in extracurricular activities, okay? And I, I think to call it extracurricular is, is ridiculous in today's, you know, you know, today's day because these are essential activities. If you want to get a job, what do they have on your application? What extracurriculars are you in? If you mm -hmm. want to go to college on your college application, it's in there. If you want to get a scholarship, if you want to go to a military academy, if you haven't been in, in these essential activities, you basically have no chance, okay? Now, these essential activities are also available and open to, even to people who homeschool use the, the perm exactly. essential activities. Even yeah. homeschool people are part of the process here. Uh, so this is just as critical to them as it is to any one of us. Don, does that mean that you can't get into a college? No, I mean, you can go to, you know, you could go to Fergus Falls Community College, yes. But are you gonna get into Stanford without it? Yeah, I'm gonna tell you no, okay? Yeah. Are you gonna get an appointment to West Point? No, no, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. Well, and I know that you, ha you know, when you talk about extracurricular activities, sometimes people are thinking, well, you know, you're talking football, you're talking basketball. But really, I, I spoke with Fred Saylor yeah. a few weeks ago, and he was talking right. about mock trial and it's, the science club. Yep. And, you and speech, you know, and one-act play. And, and, I mean, it's amazing the things that these kids are in. Yeah. You know, opportunities I had never even dreamed about, opportunities I never had. But these are opportunities that they have got to have in order to compete, in order to still have, have the opportunity to go on beyond high school. Okay. Uh, and so keeping these involved is really critical, you know. You are telling me, uh, uh, if you can uh, just tell me a little bit about that story. We've only got about a minute uh, left. Well, but I mean, you, know, you know, compare it to like a business. Like a, 35 years ago, I went to a resort, okay? And we had, we had no electricity, no stove, no refrigerator. I mean, we, it was just go there and fish, okay? Yep. That resort does not exist today, no. okay? Mm -hmm. That same place now has, not only does it have a stove and refrigerator electricity, it's got, you know, wireless internet. <laughs> exactly. It has it has a pool. I mean, it has this massive playground. I mean, yeah. So we got 30 seconds. Let's yeah. talk absentee voting. I know you, that you can vote today. Right now, today, you yeah. can vote. All you have to do is go over to the school, okay? Walk into the district administration office. Door number one. Yep, and you can pick up uh, registration right there. You, so you can register, pick up a ballot, and place your vote all in one trip. A matter of a few minutes, you can be done. Absolutely. So even if you've never voted before, you can vote right now today. Very so good. you can wait until Tuesday, November 3rd, or you can vote now. No long okay. lines. No, I encourage no. you to check it out. Call yeah. the school. Go over to door number one at the high school. Thanks for tuning in to the Perm Show. 
And we look forward to your continued participation in watching our show.